All right, we're going to deal with some fun filters here. So let's grab the um, the ranch house, this old black and white. And we're going to give it an even more antique look once it comes up. <laughs> All right. There we go. Now right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right. Filter. Let's go to the filter gallery. You can add a graininess to this picture. See how. Um, It looks very grainy. You can make it look very old by upping the contrast if we want it. Turn the grainiest down a little bit. Um, you can change the grain type. Kind of experiment here. Let's go through each of them. Speckled, that looks very grainy. <laughs> mm, this one looks good. Now what if we down the contrast just a little bit? See, so you have like vertical graininess. I like that. Let's see if any others look good though. I don't like the horizontal. Stippled doesn't even show up. Probably if we down the contrast it would, but enlarged, that's interesting. Contrasty. Hey, they invented a word, contrasty. Clumped. Let's go through each of these and see which one we like. I don't like that one. Soft graininess, well, that looks pretty good. And regular graininess. Let's go for the vertical. I liked, I liked those. That makes it look nice and old. All right, so let's once you pick. See, and this is just one thing under texture. So let's hit OK. Ah, see that looks nice and grainy and old. We made that picture look even older. So there's one thing we can do. Let's go to another one. Let's uh, let's hit the history tab and we'll go back to the original. Now let's try something else. Filter. Now we were under texture. Basically, um, this filter gallery is the same as going. These are the things in the fil fil uh, filter gallery. So let's go back down to texture. Um, let's try um, Crackleture. Was that what I wanted? You can make the picture look very crackled, like an old. Crack depth, see, like so. Not sure I'm into that though right now, so. Yeah, so let's, let's see what are these other ones we might want to use. Oh, that's the one I wanted to show you. You can do stained glass, which is cool, patchwork, mosaic tiles, um, but texturizer, that's the one I wanted to show. All right, so you can make it look like a canvas. Oh, that's too deep of a relief. Um, Burlap, brick. Brick looks kind of interesting. You can add that pattern to it. Sandstone. Oh, that looks kind of cool, the sandstone texturizer. All right. Torn edges. Wow, I so see you'd have to. That's just not working, is it? See, and that's under sketch. All right, let's go to. See, each of these has a very unique look to them. There's so many modifiers within each one. Kind of like that. That makes it look very old, huh? Almost makes it look cartoonish. 
All right, anyway, I'm going to hit cancel. Let's go back to the filter gallery. And let's go to, OK, we have film grain, um, underpainting, sponging, a lot of different options here. Brush strokes, we were dealing with one of those earlier. Distort, glass, ah, glass, glass, ocean ripple, and really it's going to depend on your uh, your photo. Now this stylized one, I want to show you that one. That one looks kind of cool. So let's open a different picture for that though. Let's open that sunflower. Because I have a feeling the sunflower is going to look best. All right. All right, come on. It adds like a neon glow to it. You, uh, you'll like it, depending on the picture. It can look good or bad. Where was that under? It's under. Um, Now we're better off just going back to the filter gallery. Stylize, let's use that. There, that's what I'm talking about. Edge brightness, smoothness, glowing edges. Yeah, that's what that was under. All right. Edge width makes it very distorted, though. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that one um, glowing section. We'll go over uh, some other filters in a minute, but those are just a few.